Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is your love reading for March 13th to March 20th. Today we're going to use a tattoo tarot and then I'm going to pull a Celtic cross with this. Um, I'm going to clarify with some oracle cards. This is Wild Kuan Yin by Alana Fairchild, Angela Hartfield's Whispers of Love, Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle, Oracle cards from which I will read the love or the relationship reading here and the meaning. This is Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels, Gabrielle Bernstein's Miracles Now, and now let's pull a Celtic cross. Just going to light some Palo Santo, clear up the energy here. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Love and Romance for the 13th to the 20th of March, 2019. Can we please get a Celtic cross? A Celtic cross for Capricorn, Summer Rising, and Venus for March 13th to the 20th. Judgment. Someone from your past returning. <clears throat> this is for Capricorn, Summer Rising, and Venus for March 13th to the 20th. go five of cups and that's my signal that's the end of the shuffle on the bottom we have the star so the situation is the five of cups challenge here is four of cups consciously we've got the queen of cups subconscious we've got the wheel of fortune recent past eight of coins recent future the sun you right now the empress wow around you two of wands hopes and fears the lovers outcome the hierophant all right, and the start. There's so much major arcana here. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana. So everything that's happening basically for the 13th to the 20th is going to have major um, fate energy, major karmic cards, major um, influence for you in your love life for the 13th to the 20th, generally even for your life. So here you got the situation is five of cups. Five of cups is always portrayed with three cups on one side and two cups on the other. It's this kind of card of feeling emotional and moody and focusing on the past instead of what the relationship is in the future, in the recent. It's calling for a need to shift your focus from past to good times that are no longer anymore to what is still standing and relevant in your life, two of cups. Because if you don't do that, then you're living in a daydream and you're leaking your energy, um, focusing on the past too much, and then you can't make your life because you're still focused on the past. The challenge here is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is this card of lethargy, boredom, um, just again, it's that three cups and the one cup. That one, I call this the card of first world problems here because when that cup is available to you for complete self-fulfillment and where it runneth over, where you are completely joyous and happy and complete and whole within yourself to be complete contentment is yours. But instead, stuck in the past again with those three cups, both of these cards is looking to the past. And being here, it's the card of daydreaming, stuck like it just watching that situation playing over and over in your head, thinking about those times and just mentally and emotionally being there, as opposed to the present where the fulfillment is there. The situation here is that you already have a relationship with another person 
that's offering support to you, offering love to you, and instead you're still choosing to be focusing on the past. Very negative um, waste of time, basically. Consciously, you've got Queen of Cups on your mind. This is somebody who could be the sign of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water signs. Um, this is someone who is uh, very, could be a mother, could be someone who is um, older, established, and in the professions of maybe a counselor or a therapist or a healer, um, she's very intuitive and has those kind of intuitive abilities. Very One of the most intuitive cards in the deck because she does rule over the water element with the cups. And she's someone who's completely open and receptive to love and able to give love. And this is someone who's on your mind. <clears throat> in the subconscious here, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana card and it signifies that when it turns, it brings in abundance, brings in change into your life. <clears throat> you see right next to it is an Empress here. So it's, it's a wonderful change coming in. So for example, if you've been in this kind of stuck in the past energy, subconsciously at the foundation, there's something happening that's creating great change within you. And you know it and you can feel it. It's going to be, if it was negative in the past, it's going to bring happiness into the future. Bringing in abundance, bringing in change, something towards something better. In the eight of coins in the recent past, it's where this energy of wanting to put in work to make things work. Eight of coins generally is a putting in the overtime to master a craft. <clears throat> but in love and romance, it's where you want to try to work things out and you are humble and you're sh it's chivalrous and gallantry and all those types of things where you will take a hit to your ego or maybe you'll take many hits to the ego to your feelings just so you can try to work something out this eight of coins is all about compromise where you will take the brunt of that compromise and you will try and your focus and your aim is completely to make things work out in the recent past in the recent future you get clarity where you see things clearly the sun card is a happy card it's well, the happiest card in the deck it's about joy success um, could be someone by the sign of leo it's also about abundance and seeing everything as it truly is and as opposed to this kind of living in illusion land now the sun comes out and you see everything for how things truly are and once you embrace that, there is joy, success, and prosperity. When you see here with you right now, the Empress. The Empress is a major arcana card. She's the goddess of fertility, beauty, and wisdom, and creation. She comes up when there's... Some of you might have a pregnancy, okay? Just because I see the sun and the Empress. The sun can represent a child. And the Empress can represent pregnancy just because she's so fertile. She's all about creation and creating. Um, so the Empress has great wisdom. She's like the um, High Priestess, except the High Priestess would be the virginal version of her. Now the Empress is the dynamic, taking action and creation and creating version. So the Empress here it's all about manifesting in love she's beautiful she's desired she's able to manifest she's loving and she's caring all of that is around you this is this is the energy of you right now oh, sorry around you is two of wands this is a card of expansion travel wanting more for some of you this might be somebody who uh, is around you who's feeling like this where one wand is attached to your relationship or your life as you know it the other wand is free with the globe in the hand and wanting to see more of the world it could be someone around you who wants more in life or it could be this energy of you wanting more than what you have um and 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 to expand and see more of the world the lovers is in your hopes and fears you're hoping for love and this is also ruled over by the sign of Gemini, if that makes sense to you as well, or if that resonates for you. And the lovers can also represent a choice that needs to be made. Um, in the outcome, you got the Hierophant. The Hierophant is represented by the sign of Taurus. Again, we got double Taurus here. The Hierophant is all about faith, commitment, trust, um, spirituality, 
uh, marriage and if it's not someone who's in your life that has this kind of like positive guidance energy towards you otherwise it's speaking to the Hierophant is someone who is um, a wise person who gives you guidance and who can show you or or is offering some kind of spiritual counsel if not it can be relating to a marriage situation um, if it's not a marriage it's about having faith restored the hierophant is all about major institutions traditions and this is about going with traditions possibly um, going with uh, how you were raised, your values that you were raised with, or it could even signify marriage. Definitely though, faith, marriage, commitment, major institutions is indicated with the Hierophant. Again, Taurus and Taurus energy here. Um, on the bottom, you've got the star. The star card is for, first of all, someone who gets a lot of attention. And I feel like that might be you because of the Queen of Cups here as well and the Empress, Queen of Cups. Those are majorly, you know, glamorous ladies here. The star card is someone who, first of all, might shine out and shine bright and stand out amongst other people, um, might be someone famous. Also, it could speak to having faith in something and hope and wishing for something and knowing that if you stick through that uh, it will be yours, okay, whether that be here you're hoping for love. It's saying that if you just hang in there, it will come to you. Five of Wands is just right now this conflict, fighting, self-doubt, insecurities, fighting with other people, and that kind of thing. But it looks like it will pass. All right, so let's pull some Gabrielle Bernstein Miracles Now Oracle cards. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 13th to the 20th. I let go and allow the universe to do her thing and on the bottom the moment I begin to celebrate myself and focus on my successes is the moment I begin living there you go that's that four of cups energy as your challenge instead of focusing on the external on other things that have passed your own cup of fulfillment is there it's saying celebrate yourself yourself all right that's what popped out here it says look for my signs i have been speaking to you through signs in the world and feelings in your heart can you hear my reassuring voice when you ask me for a sign i give it notice what is happening in the world around you take comfort believe and then the one on the bottom is was this the one on the bottom yeah the quickening the fast track with the divine mother moves us rapidly through life's challenges the road can get a bit bumpy when traveling at her accelerated pace, nor will you often feel that you are in control of the navigation. This is part of the experience when you are to be moved rapidly with divine help. Best just hold on to her and trust you'll get to where you need to be. There you go. And there's that trust and faith there, like you're being guided. All right. Let's pull a Romance Angels card from Dorian Virtue. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March. Maybe I'll just put it like this so you can see. 13th to the 20th. There we go. Retreat. It's on the Wheel of Fortune here. Oh, I don't like that one. Let's get that straightened up put it here actually retreat and on the bottom this could be the one and it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek so retreat it's time to disconnect from the world 
the romance angels see that you love your that your love life blossoms um, as you spend time alone with your partner or by yourself it appears that you've become confused or conflicted by other people's advice it's time for you to disconnect so that you can better hear your own feelings and opinions if you are in a partnership spending time together apart from others will renew your commitment and take it to the next level this could mean taking a vacation going on a nature hike enjoying a long drive or turning off the phones and computer as you both enjoy a quiet afternoon at home the painting on this card also indicates a honeymoon, which could be the literal message. So there may be a deepening of commitment or a new serious relationship if you're currently single. This card may indicate an upcoming engagement, wedding or renewal of vows. These activities are more meaningful as you spend time alone with your partner. If you're presently single, this card guides you to spend time by yourself, meditating upon your true feelings and thoughts. Be sure to take action based on any intuitive guidance. This strengthens your energy, which helps you rapidly attract and manifest your loving partner. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. This card signals um, that you've already met the person you romantically seek. Uh, perhaps you're already in a relationship with him or her. The romance angel sent you this card because it seems you're not recognizing or enjoying the full potential of this person and relationship. Sometimes you may overlook someone who's meant for you because you have a different idea of what your partner should look or act like. Take a moment to consider who this might be. The first person to come to mind is probably the one. Next, invite the romance angels into your dreams as you're going to bed. Ask them to give you very clear information about your romantic partner, either in your present relationship or a future one. During sleep, you're more open to angelic guidance. When you awaken, you may not remember your dreams, but you will have a clearer sense of romance and partnership. Take any action you feel called to based on your inner guidance, even if it seems unrelated to your love life. Trust that the angels are leading you toward the one you desire. All right, again, with the guiding and trusting and having faith, let's pull an oracle card, and I'll take the underlying one as well from Colette Baron Reed. This is the Wisdom of the Oracle Oracle Cards. Can we get a card for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? From March 13th to the 20th. Never-ending story. Oh, okay, that's the stuck-in-the-past victim story. TikTok. All right. 37. Self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for other, more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however. Right now you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyways. So that's that card of expecting things to be a certain way. And if it's not picture perfect, feeling like you are a victim somehow and creating this victim story. And even though you might not be personally feeling this externally, you know, some kind of persecution from the external, this kind of feeling in your head that if it doesn't look exactly as it should if it's not perfect if it's not how you think things should be then you perceive yourself as a victim so this never-ending story is saying you need to get rid of that narrative because 
you're not. And it's saying, have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyways. All right, number 30. Timelessness, divine timing, immeasurable time. The relationship messages. Love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be coerced. Everything has its season, its divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love, to find it, to nurture it, to give and receive it. Its clock is eternal and, tricks and ticks according to the beating of your heart in perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. And then let's pull a wisdom of the... This is, uh, sorry, the Whispers of Love from Angela Hartfield. So please get a card. This is the last Oracle card for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can please get a card for Capricorn, please? And also the underlying energy as well. All right. We've got... Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. And on the bottom, the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. So these are very short. Let me read this. Number 11. The angels are asking you to dig deep inside of your inner self. The strength is in you, though it may not feel like it right now. You will be able to push through this, believe in yourself, and know that you have the power within you. The heart of the matter, number 22. There's more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. Take a moment to get to the real issues in the situation. Sometimes at the very heart of the situation lies the truth of what is going on. Be honest and willing to do whatever is necessary to take care of this. And it's got some children in the picture there. So that is your reading, Capricorn, for March 13th to the 20th. I'll link some videos now. Please check out your other readings. I have a monthly um, love reading already posted, and I will post a general reading fairly shortly. Also, you have a last week's love reading that you might want to check out as well. Um, so generally, it looks good. It just looks like it's going to be fantastic for you. You've got such high energy. It's insane. Look at these cards. These are all major arcana, six of them, right? You are being guided here. This is what is going on. It's being guided. It's saying to have faith and let it go. Go with this. Don't fight it, but definitely get out of this victim story of sticking to the past of how things should have been and didn't work out. You need to let that go. And focus on yourself and your successes because that cup of fulfillment is there for the taking. All right, that's it. Talk to you guys soon and thank you for watching. Bye for now.